How do intravitreal injections treat macular edema? Imagine a tiny needle delivering medicine right into the eye to help clear up swelling in the central part of your retina. That's what intravitreal injections do for macular edema. They involve injecting medication directly into the vitreous humor, the gel-like substance inside your. This allows the medicine to reach the retina and macula, where the swelling happens, in high enough amounts to be effective. Macular edema is when fluid builds up in the macula, the part of your retina responsible for sharp vision. This swelling often results from damaged blood vessels leaking fluid, which can happen in conditions like diabetic retinopathy or retinal vein occlusions. When the macula swells, your vision can become blurry or distorted, and if left untreated, it might lead to permanent vision loss. The main medicines used in these injections are antivascular endothelial growth factor, agents, and corticosteroids. Anti-VEGF drugs like bevacizumab, ranibizumab, and aflibercept work by blocking a protein called VEGF. VEGF promotes abnormal blood vessel growth and leakage, which worsens swelling. By inhibiting VEGF, these drugs help restore the blood retinal barrier, reduce leakage, and decrease fluid buildup. This results in less swelling and often improves vision. Aflibercept is unique because it also targets placental growth factor, which might make it more effective in some cases. Corticosteroids such as triamcinolone acetonide and dexamethasone implants help by calming inflammation and reducing blood vessel permeability. They are often used if anti-VEGF treatments don't fully resolve the swelling or if the patient has a strong inflammatory component. These steroids help stabilize the blood retinal barrier and further decrease fluid leakage. Injecting these medications directly into the eye bypasses the blood ocular barriers meaning the drugs reach the retina quickly and in high concentrations. This targeted approach minimizes systemic side effects compared to oral or intravenous treatments. The procedure is performed under sterile conditions by trained specialists, usually through a small injection in the pars plana area of the eye. While generally safe, there are some risks like infection, inflammation, or retinal detachment, but these are rare when performed properly and with close monitoring. In summary, intravitreal injections are a powerful way to treat macular edema by delivering medications that reduce blood vessel leakage and inflammation directly where they are needed. This approach has become a cornerstone in managing conditions like diabetic retinopathy, retinal vein occlusions, and age-related macular degeneration. It's important for patients to work closely with their care team to determine the best treatment plan and to have regular follow-up to ensure the best possible outcome. Always consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice and care.